Well, Georgia football's national championship last year was the first since Vince Dooley took the undefeated dogs to a title in 1980. Sadly, the legendary coach died at the end of October before getting a chance to see the team defend this year. But Channel 2 Steve Gelbach shows you how the dogs and Delta Airlines are celebrating his life and legacy. Delta has been flying the dogs for decades, even the first national championship game down in New Orleans more than 40 years ago. But this plane that charters the team out to L.A. later this week first got a special dedication, and I had a chance to speak with Mrs. Dooley, who got a little emotional thinking of her husband and this honor. They're taking this plane with the team. It's unbelievable. You'll be with them. I know. Barbara Dooley with three of her four children along with Governor Kemp, Delta CEO and past Georgia greats unveiled the logo honoring Vince Dooley. It's taking my breath away. <laughs> what an honor. The Hall of Fame UGA football coach recently passed away at age 90. But his widow says he was watching last Saturday night as the dogs won the Peach Bowl in Atlanta at the stroke of midnight. I think he was there. I think he hit that field goal kick. Dooley, the winningest coach in Georgia history, appeared in 20 bowl games and won 201 total games. He also served as athletic director, built the program into one of the most successful in the country. Governor Brian Kemp said he impacted his family and countless of other athletes who played, knew, and learned from him. He became not only a mentor, but also over the years, a great friend. And we still value the lessons that he taught us. Well, Coach Dooley didn't make it to last year's national championship game to see UGA win. Barbara had to stay home with COVID. She's going to make up for it this year in hopes to keep the undefeated streak going. We are reliving the glory years of the 80s. And I'm just so sorry he's not with me because this is unbelievable. And once this plane brings the team back home next week, hopefully with that championship trophy in tow, it will go into service for Delta Airlines and you could end up flying on this 767 on routes around the country. At Hartsfield-Jackson, Steve Gelbach, Channel 2 Action News.